everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sally and this is Didsbury Art Studio. And in today's video, we're going to be decorating the honeycomb smocking that I made last week. So shall we get into this? So if you remember, this was the piece that I've made. What I've done is I've stretched it out with some pins on this foam board. And I've got out all the materials that I potentially could use. So I've tried to kind of coordinate the colour scheme, although I've kind of gone a bit rogue there. Um, so what I'm playing around with at the moment is I'm quilling some ribbons and I'm testing out some little sequins either in the corners of the diamonds or inside the diamonds. I've also got some trimming there which I'm twisting around putting in a diamond. I've collected some large beads which I'm starting to insert in the diamonds just to see what that filling looks like um, and then I've got an old necklace that I'm trying out some large sequins dangling off the edges of the diamonds and generally experimenting with a string of um, sequins and I've got large thick lace which I'm filling into the diamonds as well so yeah just playing around seeing what I can do what works what's too concentrated what's what area needs a little bit more just balancing it out really. What I'm trying to do is come up with a few ideas of things that I like and then I'm going to keep homing it down to decide on what works the best. I don't want it to go too cluttered and this is just trying to sort of see what colour combinations go well. So what I'm doing now is I'm starting to remove the things that I don't think work that well. So it might be bright coloured pearls, it might be a texture I don't like, a shape's not working, it's looking a bit crammed. So really important to remove right, these. so what I do next hello, is I take away all the materials that I'm not going to use, just face ready so I can see clearly. So the section on the left is more like beads, the section of the right is all the ribbons and laces that I've got and down below is a mixture of sequins and beads. So there is a bit of a categorisation going on. Um, may not look like it, but there is. So back to it, this is what it's looking like. Space is cleared so I can see exactly what I'm doing. As I said, I don't want to overwhelm this, so all I'm doing at the minute is just testing to see what fits, what I can do with it, whether I need to sew, whether I need to fabric glue, and so I've got bits out that I need, so we'll crack on. What I'm trying to decide right now is whether these are going to look too heavy. Part of art and what we do at school is really getting them to think about problem solving and taking risks with the materials, but also just to work out the best way aesthetically, but also kind of like, what's the best way to resolve something? To Do I need to stick these down with fabric glue or do I need to sew them? What's the best process? That's really what I'm thinking about right now, because some of these beads, particularly these little crystal ones, are actually quite heavy. So I don't want to, as I said, overwhelm the piece. I'm not sure that one fits, so we won't use that. But these ones, what I need to work out is where they're going to go. I'm just separating this necklace out with little collections of the beads. Right, so I'm getting somewhere and I've just randomly placed them around the piece. I'm going to grab this and I kind of want it to dangle like that. So I just come up through the back of the diamond bit, just from the side near the top. Got my thread double thickness just for the strength and then I'm just threading through to make sure it fits. So 
I'm just sewing through the back of the fabric and over the top of the little chain at the top and it just secures it in. That's all done, all sewn on. So I hope you enjoyed this video today. Don't forget to subscribe if you fancy doing so and I will see you in the next video. Take care of yourselves this week. See you soon.